What's going on guys? Drone B here and uh, the realm of emperors is over. It was pretty fun guys, not gonna lie. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it started off slow, it's super glitchy. T5 and T6 and T7 troops were not working. It was quite chaos. They uh, eventually got the troops working. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I was just gonna try to hit T3 in the event and then just focus on gems. So that's what I did. I attacked as many Imperial fortresses as I could and uh, took took about eight hours of just grinding out <laughs> in mini teleports. Uh, it would have been a lot quicker if I had, you know, T6 or T7, but uh, I do not yet. So I just sped up some marches and teleported around until I hit it. Um, it was a pretty cool event, guys. Sorry, I, I didn't uh, get to everybody's emails and everything yet. It's, it's uh, <laughs> I got a lot that came in today, and I'm pretty lazy. Just got home from work, but here we go, guys. This is the point that I hit the T3 in the event, and I was super excited to open up the legendary gear piece. Uh, I figured I would get like Sentinel or something I already had. <laughs> Isn't that how it works, right? You get like. Some, uh, you know, something that you don't really need, like a hunter. You get like a hunter weapon or something. <laughs> uh, I, I opened it up here, though, so you guys can see what I get. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty chill event. I did get attacked twice by T7 troops, and I was able to record it. I was at work, and uh, all of a sudden I saw the incoming attack on my phone. And I logged on quick. Well, actually, the first time I saw that. The second time I was actually on when he attacked. Uh, it's pretty cool to get to see how my D held up. So that, I, luckily that, I recorded it, so it'll be in here in a second. Uh, and also, by the evening, they finally opened up the actual Titan to be conquered. And uh, I got some of the action on that, uh, just, just observing it. So as a spectator. And uh, here it is, guys. I got the Winged Assassin Legendary body armor. Pretty cool. I was stoked about it, but oh man, here's the attack guys by Tommy7. He's a Citadel 62. Shout out to Tommy if he's out there. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't even have time to switch my hero or anything. I just, just, just took it. I just took it. <laughs> um, boom, boom. So, yeah, so I forget how many troops, but there's a couple hundred thousand T7 from a Citadel 62. And I think he had like a hundred and ten-ish Noctis. I'll probably look at it here in a second. Uh, but yeah, he ate through about 22,000 Guardians, basically. So, uh, so my D held strong there. I was victorious. And... Uh, yeah, so I was, I was kind of surprised I held up as good as I did. So that's 268,000. He had 114 Noctis. And uh, so that was a cavalry march. So I'm actually, I have only, uh, I have 1.2 million T6 traps all against mages. Because that was the only one that I could afford. Basically, I'm cheap. So uh, cavalry, um, I'm, I'm not set up to take on cavalry. As well, uh, if he came at me with mages, I would have owned him. But uh, he did good with cavalry. I had anti-scout on too, so he couldn't see what I had. And uh, yeah, I think I pull up his hero here. Let's find out. Yep. Yeah, so dang, 800. Dude, that dude's stacked with power. <laughs> and uh, must be must be Asian. So yeah, he had pretty good gear, guys. That's gold, arbiter, and a pretty good weapon. So, so I was pretty, pretty pleased I held out against it all right. I don't think, I didn't think I would do that good, to be honest. But it worked out. I, I did have some boosts activated. I had my defense boost. So I was kind of set up for it. Here I, I scouted him. He's got, uh, he has all, all his barracks up to 60. So he's, he's doing a good job leveling up all his buildings, you know, like a true boss. And, uh, yeah, he was loaded with mercenary troops, too. One million mercenary troops. Dang. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, he had all barracks. And all of them were above 60. 
So shout out to Tommy. That's that's pretty uh, pretty baller to attack somebody. I think I had like 350 million power. So and he he took me on, man. He came at me. He wasn't scared. Uh, so here was uh, uh, the the Supreme Emperor guys. It was so Trackhawk was the odds on favorite to win it. I've mentioned Trackhawk before. It's a chick, and uh, yeah, she's she's a baller. She's always been a baller, and her she's got a really powerful guild too. She's a Citadel 63. Someone else in her guild had a Citadel 64, and they they took that Titan right when it opened, and they put in like 300,000 of the new um, of the new uh, the new mercenary troop that just came out. The T the mages, the mages that just came out, I forget what they're called. Vanisher Emperors or something? No, that's not even close to being right. Hopefully I pull them up here in a little bit, but... Yeah, so, oh, and I just got it. This is the second attack. I didn't even see it coming. I was busy, you know, lollygagging. But uh, my hero wasn't home, but I still held up pretty good even without my hero. Uh, he had 112 Noctis, and he came at me with some crowns, too. Uh, it would have been nice to have my hero for that one. That would have been, uh... <laughs> I could have renamed his, uh, his hero if I had mine. Yeah, so, Goat. And they're definitely the, the most baller guild. Or, it might have even been a collection of different guilds for this. I'm not too sure about that, but but they were pretty pretty sweet, pretty stacked. They were loaded with, with pretty good troops. They had like 600,000... Uh, golden guardians in the in the crystal when I scouted it. I think six hundred thousand, <laughs> something like that. It was insane. Uh, yeah, so so uh, Trackhawk took it early, and I looked around to see who's who's going to take her, and I noticed Baba Yaga, Yaga Baba Yaga, and he's pretty sweet. Like uh, he's got. Pretty good hero, pretty good gear. He's always been a boss on this game. He was the first person that I remember seeing with T6 on this server. And, uh, yeah, so here's Trackhawk. Uh, he, <laughs> she's quite a beast. She's a beast. Uh, Citadel 63. And I saw a Citadel 65 out there somewhere in this realm. Um, I can't think of his name, though. Shout out to uh, the Citadel 65 on this server, though. <laughs> I heard in the older server there's a really, there's some, you know, really powerful players. GoldenEye was one that I keep hearing about, and I heard he's, his Noctis is near 150 or at 150. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, so, so really not too much action. I think most people scouted that Titan and said, eh, I'd rather not, uh, rather not go for it. But here's here's Baba Yaga, and I I was expecting him to go for it. I was expecting him to uh, put together a rally, and because DBZ is a really strong guild in their realm. Oh well, in the server, but uh, of course in their realm they're really strong too. But but uh, yeah, so they're <laughs> they're pretty sweet. I think they do get a rally together here in a little bit. Um, I kind of skip around though because I was I was at work, so I. It's kind of like uh, I had my phone off to the side just waiting for some action so I could hit record on it. So that's kind of how I was doing it. Man, I wish I could remember who what the 65 was. It's going to bug me now, guys. It's going to bug me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, here's the scout reports. So, um, 618,000 Golden Guardians. Uh, almost 1.75 million troops. Um, 330,000 Emperor's Executioners. So, <laughs> it was pretty stacked. I was thinking, yeah, how are they going to lose, right? Like, uh, you know, who's going to come in and take them out in this server? 
Goldeneye's not on this server, so I don't have to worry about him at least. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if the younger servers had uh, a Titan event this week or not, but if they did, I'd be curious, curious uh, what what they were, who what the winner had on the younger realms. Taking a look around here, there's quite a bit of 60s, quite a bit of 50s. Um, the nice thing about, one of the things I really liked about this event is uh, Luna hooked us up with like so many ports. I think I have like 10 left over, 10 four hour ports. So hopefully they do this event again because I'm already stacked with ports for it. And uh, it's cool when Luna, when they do that because that means everybody can participate. I hate it when you have to like pay money to participate, right? It's much better when everyone can join in, but, but that might have been why it was so laggy too. <laughs> It was terribly laggy. Like it took like 15 seconds every time I wanted to send a march to get that march out. It was painful. Uh, I'm sure it was bad for you guys too. I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm, it might have just been me, I don't know. But whew, it was terrible. Oh, and uh, here's, here's uh, Sassy. She's from our realm. She's the baller in our realm. She named her uh, her Noctis after me. So I was kind of pumped uh, when she first named the Noctis after me. It was like her weakest hero, but she's leveled him up and uses him now. So it's nice to see, nice to see Gutsy getting some love. Um, yeah, I burned a million loyalty today for this event. <laughs> okay guys, so I just caught it, but uh, you may not have noticed, but Baba Yaga actually was able to take down the 1.75 million. Uh, I, was, I was quite shocked. To be honest, I'm not sure how he did it. His Noctis is a slightly higher level. It's 122. And I guess his gear is pretty sweet too there. Check that out. Yeah, and he's got just about every... I think he's got every single title that's ever existed. <laughs> Maybe not everyone, but he's got a ton of them. 935 million. That might be the highest for this server. Maybe there's somebody else near that, but that's pretty high. <laughs> uh, 63 Citadel. Yeah, and I scout it just to see what it has, and it, it actually, he did it with half the troops, half the troop account. Half the tr troop account. Yeah, he did it with half as many troops. He only had like 700,000 troops in his rally. Somehow still took it. So I don't know if he just... I mean, his hero's higher, his gear's pretty good. I'm guessing he has some level 6 rainbow gems that maybe Trackhawk doesn't have. Uh, like the level 6, he might have like two of those or something. Because that would explain how he could do so well with half as many troops. Uh, the only thing that maybe Trackhawk did um, is they did have, you know, 500,000 more Golden Guardians than they probably needed. So, uh, you know, if they had maybe 500,000 T7 behind it instead, might have done a little better, but all the same, man, I can't believe that they lost from, a, you know, a small rally, because <laughs> he must have really uh, had some some uh, research or something going for him, some gems maybe. So here's the, look at that, 610,000. How did they do it, guys? They must, I guess that cripple... R5 HP helped out quite a bit. I wonder if he has really good combat research too. He might have like, like some epic, epic combat research. Uh, like the uh, the advanced combat research. That's what I was trying to say. But uh, yeah, so so fast forward a little bit, and Trackhawk did manage to take it back, and this time they stacked it with. Um, yeah. Oh wait, that was an older report. But, well, uh, fast forward into the future, Trackhawk does get it back. And uh, I missed the rally when it sets off, but I think I do scout it later on. Let's see, okay, yeah, here it is. So I, I scout it out here. I don't know, maybe Trackhawk changed gear or something for that. I have no idea, because it's still, it's hard to believe that Trackhawk lost that rally or lost to that rally, but they got it back, so it's all good. And uh, 
nobody after this was able to take the crystal back. So that is, Trackhawk is our, our emperor. Congrats on that. That's awesome. The odds on favorite one. <laughs> what a baller though. 70 VIP. Dang. And it looks like mostly Glacian gear. Glacian gear with the Guardian helmet and Guardian body armor. And that's a pretty good combo, especially with the newest uh, Emperor troops that came out. They're mages, right? So you get the mage buffs on already the best mercenary, actually the best troop in the game at this point is the, um, is those new, those new mercs that just came out right before, and right for this event really pretty much. So I feel bad I didn't stock up on them. I thought about it, but I didn't want to buy a pack just for that. So I didn't. But, uh, so here's what they ended up with in it. 222,000 Golden Guardians. Uh, some Ice Warrior level 6s. Looks like they got a bunch of R3 commanders. They've got an R4 Guardian commander. They've got um, 770,000 Emperor's Executioners. So uh, they must have bought a couple of those packs and then rallied it back, <laughs> right? Because earlier there wasn't half that many. So maybe that's how they were able to get it back. They stocked that thing up though, so congrats on them. And uh, yeah, so that was pretty much it for the event, guys. I had fun. Hope you guys had fun too. Hope you guys uh, got some gems and maybe uh, some legendary gear piece. And uh, yeah, guys, so take it easy and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. I'm going to make some more videos. I have the next couple of days off. So I'm going to be farming some monsters. We have a monster event going on. So uh, I'm going to be farming up some monsters and I'll make some videos this weekend. So cheers, guys. Joan B. Out.